Hello everyone, welcome to questions and answers that are based on the course of computational finance. Today we have the final uh, question of this series, so therefore we have a question number 30, uh, which is based on the materials discussed in lecture number 13. Lecture number 13 was focused on pricing of uh, exotic derivatives uh, using numerical techniques. The question of today is what are the chooser options? So for this question, actually, you have to know what, what exactly what the chooser option is. Um, in finance, in financial engineering, uh, for all sorts of uh, type of payoffs, we have uh, typically different names. Therefore, it is important that you will be familiar with those names. In this course, in this lecture, we have discussed a number of uh, possible payoffs, and this is one of them. So just to give you a little bit of flavor of possible exotics that we, we may you may consider, uh, there is a uh, I have prepared in this question uh, three. The first one is the binary option, so uh, binary payoff, which is uh, often called cash or nothing. There are different variants of a binary type of payoffs. Whenever you have indicator uh, functions, so indicator, in this case, we have S stock bigger than strike at the maturity, then or this type of indicators, then we always talk about uh, binary features of a payoff. So in this case, we have a Q, which is a constant, and then we have a, a, a indicator. So it only pays out amount of Q if at the expiry date, uh, stock would be larger than K. So this is interesting approach because if we look at this expectation of this quantity, so if we have expectation of an indicator function of stock at time T is larger than K, it is the same as probability that S T is larger than K. So this is interesting uh, uh, relation and relation to this uh, payoff. The second one, so this is more advanced uh, option, it's called compound option. Easy way to think of uh, compound options is to think of option on option. So in this case, we have uh, uh, two times, we have a time, maybe you could say three times, because we have time T0. So if we have a time grid, we have a time today T0, we have a capital time T0, and then we also have capital time T here. So uh, this option is about uh, extra optionality that uh, our client will have. In this case, we have a call option on a call. So this means that at time T0, a client would buy an option where at time capital time T0, he can decide, he can basically enter a call option over this period of time, right? So this is option on option and we call it compounding effect. So this is interesting hybrid because you can see inside we have a maximum also, but over different period of time. So this inner option is about this period. So let's call it option number one. This is this one. And then we have option number two, which is over option over the, you could say over whole interval. And actually this is the option on the second one. So this will be this one. And this relates to this two. So this is option on option. Option is a compound option. And chooser option is for client that is not decided whether he would like to invest in call or put. Uh, this is very similar to this case. However, here, instead of a strike K0, we would have a, another option. So we have option on a choice between two different uh, either call or put options. So again, as before, we have time T0. We would have time uh, capital time T0 and time T. T. So at time T0, uh, this derivative, uh, basically, this is today, and client would have option at time T0, capital T, to decide whether he would like to go for a call or he would like to go for a put option. So whether he, uh, the, of course, depending on the premium, which, which behavior of the stock will take place. So if stock performs very well, then of course, call uh, option will be uh, more uh, valuable compared to put. And on the other hand, if a market by time T0, so if the stock moves upwards, this means that this will be more valuable. If a stock from today moves downwards, then put option will be more valuable. Then he would decide to go for the second option. And of course, at this point, he has still option, or he can continue until the expiry date of capital time T. So you see, at this point, it is kind of entering con contract over the future period of time. Of course, this option could be also earlier uh, sold to somebody. So at this point, if this stock already has gained a lot of value, this could be also traded 
on the market. So in essence, chooser option is an option where we can choose between whether we buy a call or put options. An important takeaway is that this, there is additional uh, time T0. So this is a time where client can decide whether he would buy call or put. Uh, and this value, it is in the future. So this time T0 is in the future. Otherwise, this would be rather trivial exercise if it will be a time T0 today. So this is not today. This has to be, so T0 has to be later, further from today. And the compound option, this is also very interesting. Um, this is option is also used often in uh, uh, real options, uh, where we have options on options uh, uh, derivatives. So this is uh, maybe more advanced than this one, but this is uh, uh, the definition of the chooser option. So this will basically be it. I hope you have enjoyed this series and see you next time. Bye bye.